Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back after a long long time, long long break on our channel called USMLE True Residency. So <coughs> welcome back to our channel and today is 5th March and I am going to start a new video series called USMLE with Monix with you. So let me introduce you a bit. So USMLE with Monix will be a new playlist I created on my channel which you can see on the featured page of my channel. So this uh, playlist is going to be about small short five to seven minute videos and I will share mnemonics about important topics uh, there will not be explanatory videos they'll be just mnemonics okay videos showing mnemonics so I call them USMLE with mnemonics so uh, today we're gonna start with our first ever video of this series so let's begin with USMLE with mnemonics okay let the animation begin. Come on, yeah. Okay, that was good, nice pan. So you can view high heel content uh, in small short videos. Okay, so let's begin. So today's video is going to be on drugs that increase QT interval. Yeah, I shared that on my blog too, but I st I thought of beginning with this video. Maybe who those who have not seen can watch it here. So. Let's begin with our first video of USMLE with Monix and it's gonna be on drugs that increase QT interval. So let's begin. Okay, what is QT interval? QT interval is the uh, duration from the beginning of Q wave to the end of T wave. So you know QRS complex means ventricular depolarization and then T wave is ventricular repolarization and this is the duration in which uh, ventricular ventricles are contracting uh, from the beginning of Q wave till the end of T wave. So this is the QT interval and normal QT interval is less than 0.44 seconds but you have to see the corrected QT interval because QT interval is inversely proportional to the heart rate so as heart rate is uh, increasing QT interval is lowering normally also so you have to see the normal uh, corrected range and compare but for physiological normal ranges uh, more than 0.44 seconds means the QT interval is prolonged and it is not a good thing so let's begin with the Vidmonic, the main thing for which we have created this video. So yeah, here we are. So the drugs that increase QT interval are, yeah, QT3, QT3, QT increases QT interval. Q refers for quinidine, T for thioridazine, which is an antipsychotic, a typical one and then TCAs are tricyclic antidepressants and class 3 antiarrhythmics which include amiodron and sodalol so that's as easy as that the drugs that increase QT interval you'll encounter many mnemonics vinets many places and randomly in the book of pharmacology this drug raises QT interval this raises QT interval so you just have to uh, learn this simple mnemonic called QT3 and you'll know all the drugs that increase QT interval in a patient. Quinidine, thioridazine, all tricyclic antidepressants, and class 3 antiarrhythmics. So, uh, okay, I'll go. As you know, that uh, quinidine is uh, uh, also an antiarrhythmic, a class 1. Thioridazine is a typical antipsychotic. Uh, and just giving you some extra stuff because, uh, otherwise you have just uh, learned the mnemonic thioridazine is typical anti-psychotic anti along with haloperidol and flufenazil thioridazine can also cause cardiotoxicity and uh, retinal deposits so cardiotoxicity is obvious with increased QT interval and retinal deposits can also be caused and TCAs are tricyclic antidepressants as you know and they also have anticholinergic side effects you must be knowing and then our class 3 anterior mix but there's one more drug that increases QT interval and I wanna add that to this Vidmonic and that is Ziprosidone that is also an antipsychotic like thioridazone but it's an atypical antipsychotic thioridazone is a typical one this is an atypical one so how do you remember this in this mnemonic well easy you have to just pluralize it QT3 makes uh, becomes QT3s yeah that's easy. QT3, QT3s. So drugs increasing QT interval, QT3 to QT3s. Quinidine, thyroidazine, TCAs, class 3 antiarrhythmics, and ciprocidone. Okay, these are the examples I've already told. 
TCS, amitriptyline, imipronamine, tomipramine, and amiodarone and sodalol are cross three anterior mix. And that's the mnemonic slide again. So I hope you know all the drugs now. So guys, this was the small video showing uh, drugs increasing QT interval. Small video mnemonic. And I hope you will now never forget all the drugs that increase QT interval. Next time I'll watch you in some other small new video and that is obviously going to be smaller than this because I wasted a lot of time in explaining what this video is about and all that. So in this playlist you will see videos uh, covering random topics, pharmacology, physiology, microbiology, OBS, gynae, surgery, internal medicine, pathology, just mnemonics of all topics, okay? Mnemonics from high yield topics that are frequently tested in these videos. So. Just stay tuned and wait for more mnemonics. And uh, if you like my channel, if you like this video, and if you want to stay tuned with all the mnemonics that I share in the form of videos on my channel, then do click on the subscribe button here to stay tuned with our channel and watch all the coming videos. And you can also join me on my Facebook page by clicking here, on my Twitter page by clicking here. And this USMLE channel is my blog. It's the name of my blog where I share all my content from Facebook, Twitter, all the sources on one common platform. So you can check out my blog by clicking here on this link. And you can also check out my book on clinical electives called US Clinical Electives A to Z. And you can reach the book source by clicking on this link. And for all those who are planning to go to USA to get a residency, and if you are in final year of your MBBS in any country, I highly recommend that clinical electives are the best clinical experience you can get. So never miss an opportunity if you're in final year of medical college or if you're an intern in India or you're doing house job in Pakistan. You can go apply for clinical electives and in this book you will find uh, all the information about how to, where to apply, a list of colleges, sample documents, everything A to Z. So guys, I hope you liked it. And do click on the subscribe button. See you next time in another new video. And thanks for watching. And see you next time in another new video. You can also check out other videos by clicking on these links I've made. So, goodbye guys. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye-bye.